All right, Saturday uh, at Jacktown here, and uh, me and Mike were here yesterday, and everybody was setting up, and it's still pretty empty. Here's my buddy right there, look at him. The tubes. They're doing tubers. He's got his outfit on, he's got his coveralls and his flannel shirt. He's ready to rock and roll. It's chilly out here. It is, man, it's 30, 34 degrees out. So uh, me and him are gonna take a walk out to the flea market and see what we can find, so we'll see you guys out there. We're in the flea market, and uh, it's just the best stuff to open up. But uh, it's 34 degrees out here, man, and it's damp, biting right into us. We'll keep our eye open and see if we can find anything. Me and Mike found some good deals yesterday. We got all the good stuff. All right, if we see anything, we'll let you know. Here's something neat. I didn't expect to see this. An old Pontiac coupe. <laughs> it looks like a survivor, too. <clears throat> See, we might have the original exhaust on it. Still got the deal on it. Look at the engine. Very cool. Look at the Panzer. Panzer with a snow plow. I just sold my snow plow. A bunch of trailers full of little hit misses. Somebody looking for them. Didn't look over them, seeing if there any deals there, but uh, they're here. Buddy Mike got himself a nice uh, lantern there. Yeah. That's one you don't see very often in Embry. Yeah, that's a nice lantern. It's missing the fuel cap, but... They, they're probably standard. Yeah. You get it going. We'll make one. If you have to, you make it on a lead. Man. Road King got himself a extension cord here. What is that? A 14 gauge, Mike? 14 gauge rigid. Still got the tags on it. Probably, probably about 50, 75 footer maybe. I don't know. But uh, we need an extension cord. 20 bucks. 20 bucks for that. Nice and soft and it's flexible. It's 35 degrees out and it's nice and flexible. All right. We're going to keep looking. A lot of stuff is still covered up. Yo, Mike. Mike, look at this. Mike. Mike, come here. Check this out. I think I got a scout craft sighting. Come here, Mike. Come on, Mike. Check him out. Check him out. Look who it is. Check him out, Mike. Mike, look. Look who it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's Red Sneakers. Come here. Come here, Mike. It's Red Sneakers. <laughs> hey, what's up? What's up? Yeah, I'm here after. <laughs> You know what's funny? We were just talking about you. Oh, yeah, I'll cut it out. These people, see, I'm here with the wagon over there to the right. Huh. New Mexico. Oh, yeah? They came up from, remember they were here last time from New Mexico? Oh, yes, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. they came up again. Huh. I saw, I was waiting by your thing over there. I just went over there. That's what he we said. said that. I bet you're sitting in your chair. I was waiting over there. I saw the lantern lit. I said that they must have just, huh. must have, I was here first. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> Something you don't see too often. That's an H. Green stamp sign. Yeah, nice. Look at that beautiful one, too. Wow, I think that was that. That's got to be four foot. Five foot by four foot. Beautiful. I love that. Yeah. All right, we're back at the store here. And uh, we got a couple of things running. Mike has this uh, Bessemer running. He's got his light bulbs on. He's got a traffic light going over here. Stop. Uh, go ahead. Alright, stop. Go ahead. Alright. See what else we got going here. Got the domestic going. That's a happy little engine. Side shift there. They probably didn't have a regular. Interesting. Yeah, okay, yeah. There's a Model F. We don't have, we don't keep that running because that's uh, that's special. That engine. Still have to run though. 
Maybe I'll have Mike start later. And then we got the old brakes running. That's another happy engine, so. Alright. Shut her down. I don't think you guys ever seen this. Mike just made this. What you got here, Mike? Explain what this is. Uh, these are very, very, fairly early Weston uh, meters, direct current meters. You got a voltmeter here and here and an amp meter in the center. These came out of a machine shop in Flemington, New Jersey. Pretty famous machine shop. Anyway, I don't, I don't own these. These, I kind of got the job to clean them up, make them work, and then make a display panel for them. That's so, our buddy Rob Charles owns these. Yeah, Rob everybody Charles knows Rob. Them. Yep, yep. So this is the panel that I built for it to display, and it's not done yet, but pretty much you're going to have a, a bus right here, so you'll have direct current coming in here, going through the bus bar, through your fuses, through your knife switch going through. I got a current shunt here for the amp meter and then this will be the load side. Something I can run with the Bessemer and put some load on it so you can see the meters operate. You know, I have a real nice lamp with a, a milk glass shade with a green on the outside to kind of light this area up. And all the wiring will be knob and tube, so it'll look real nice when it's done. But Did a nice job on the back here. Mike's not a woodworker, but uh, did a really nice job with that. Thank you. And is this is this that, that ratty, dirty old uh, knife switch you, you picked up at the flea market that time? Yeah, yeah, this was really rough. It just took me all, like a whole day to clean all this stuff up and, you know, polish it. Even the bottom. It, what is that, slate? Yeah. Some kind of it is. It's, it's, it's actually slate, yeah. Hmm. Yep. Very cool. It's pretty brittle, so I you got to be careful with it. I can't wait to see it all finished up. All right. Maybe hey, we'll turn you guys on later on and uh, we'll show you. Oh, look. The crowd, the crowds are starting. They love it. Look, look, they love it. All right. I see something over here, and I uh, don't know what it is. Looks 1932-ish, uh, whatever it is. Maybe a Plymouth? Yeah, it's got a ship on the hood there. I think it might be a Plymouth. 1934, yeah, here we go. 1934, wow. What a paint job on that. Somebody read this really nice. Dusty, dusty, but uh, smooth as glass. Okay, get a little bent in the hood. Shame about that. Vent windows, that's something you don't see often. Suicide doors. Nice little vents. Wow. Rumble seat. Yeah, somebody did a beautiful job with this. Oh, you know what? I thought it was black. But over here, with the sun beating down on it, it's uh, like a real deep royal blue, navy blue, with black fenders. Huh. I don't know, I don't know what it looks like in the on a film here, but uh, beautiful. Nice velvet seat. Cool little instrument panel. Looks like it says uh, 59,000, but uh, that could be uh, 159, 259, who knows. Nice runner boards. There's cool horns. Very nice. Very nice. All right. It's like Mike's uh, getting ready to start his Bessemer up over here. Maybe I'll catch him. He's not ready. He's got to take a little bit apart. I'll turn it back on when he's ready to start it. <laughs> Let's see if it starts. It might give him trouble. All right, there we go. Go ahead. Yeah, he just put a new spark plug in there. The old spark plug is giving him trouble, so we don't know if it's going to start.
Hmm. Yeah, he's having trouble with it, so uh, I let him mess with it and play with it and uh, get it tuned in again. So, all right, it just goes to show you know all the stuff dude, it, it, it don't work right all the time. You gotta mess with it. Yeah. Yeah, that bothers him. He'll, he'll get that run right, though. All right. I'll see you guys later. All right. It's about Sunday, 9 a.m., and uh, a lot of people cleared out. You know, anymore, these, these shows, this is supposed to be a Saturday and a Sunday show. Anymore, it, it, it turns out to be a, a one-day show, you know, because this is empty. Me and Mike hang around, wait for the church crowd, you know, to, after they get out of church, they, they come walking through places like this. And, uh... You know, you want them to see something, so uh, we hang out. Mike worked on his engine yesterday. Yeah, I think he had some bad fuel, you know. You don't know what you're getting when you buy fuel these days. But uh, he cleaned everything out and then uh, put some decent fuel in there. And uh, he's got his little machine running good now. Making power. Just chugging along. So, we didn't start up the domestic yet, but uh, we will. We had the... Model left on him. Surprised how good that thing runs for what it is and as old as it is. But uh, maybe we'll, uh, we'll start up again later and uh, get a little video of that. But uh, for now, I just want to let you guys know you know, it's not much of a show anymore. And, and all shows are like that. But you got a couple diehards that hang around just to, to make it a show. All right, maybe we'll see you in a little bit.
will also give it a yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it a Peanuts, get your peanuts. All right, Jonathan got our uh, F going. Yeah. All right, keep it going, buddy. It's cold. Let me go around here and try and hold it for you. Keep it going, buddy. It's cold. It is. It's supposed to be a little flat plate there for a choke. You know, you can put it half on, half off, but uh, uh, I don't so have now, that. Now I gotta stand here. Yeah, there you go. You better crank it up if you expect to cut the ass with that. It might take you all day. <laughs> a little grumpy. After 100 years, you get a little finicky yourself. I think it's 101 years old now. Is it? Yeah. Uh, I'm making a fool. Ready? Go. Yeah. yeah. Oh well. Just let it run for a little bit. Let John play with it for a little while. Yeah, she'll want it. I think when it ends here, we probably ain't got enough. I got it. All right, enough of this. Say goodbye, Johnny. See you. All right. Same as an F8. I don't know, John. 1200 RPM. I think F8 is 18 or so. Yeah.
See ya. Save you a lot of trouble taking that car off. Yeah, that's good. Oh, it's only two screws. <laughs> you know, I think this throttle's backwards. 